It's Friday, June 7th. And yesterday, I did a rant about Alien Cannon. And I should have ranted yesterday about D-Day. Because it was the 80th anniversary of D-Day. But I didn't. Because it kind of was in the back of my mind. But now I'm sitting here looking at articles about D-Day. And looking to see what our president did on D-Day. And he was out in France congratulating World War II veterans who are still alive because this is the 80th anniversary and those that were on the beach at Normandy 80 years ago are all close to 100 or more than 100 and dying and soon there won't be any veterans left to celebrate D-Day. But when I looked at all these articles and I saw all the luminaries who were celebrating D-Day, the Queen and the King of England, Zelensky from the Ukraine was over there. Everybody of any consequence was over there. And there were pictures of the Normandy beach. And there were newsreels showing the parachutists celebrating on Normandy beach. They don't have any real news films left of the actual battle as it was going on. And 4,400 U.S. soldiers died on that beach as the Germans up on the hillside were shooting at them as they were landing in the Cold War. So D-Day is a historic day in this country. And there were many regions that had celebrations. And so I decided to find out what Donald Trump did on D-Day. You know, Donald Trump is supposedly a great patriot. And in prior D-Days, when he was president, he did some things on D-Days. He did celebrate things. But now that he's a convicted criminal, and now that he's running for a second term, as president, somehow or other, he forgot about D-Day. And in my mind, that's a huge mistake. D-Day is one of the days that we must continue to celebrate. We must look at this day and recognize how great our country was at that time, and how we banded together in World War II. One nation, indivisible. And I remember all the things I had to do during World War II to help our soldiers. I remember the ration books. And I remember being in school and being in charge of collecting the newspapers that were valuable. We didn't throw anything out. And we collected cans of fat that were needled to fight and to produce the munitions that we needed to continue the war. So it was wonderful to see all these pictures of dignitaries celebrating, holding on and kissing the veterans who were still alive. Pictures of Biden making the rounds. He was into it smiling, acting like a young man. Pictures of the King of France. Pictures of the British statesman. But no picture of Donald Trump. Donald Trump took no actions on D-Day. Is that because he's ashamed? Is that because he's not the leader of the country right now? Is that because he couldn't serve in the armed forces because he had a heel spur? No, Donald Trump doesn't think about any anything but himself. And if he was smart, he would have been doing something on the 80th anniversary of D-Day to show this country his patriotism. So I think he screwed up badly by not making any kind of public state. I recognize that he probably can't leave the country because of his conviction. But nevertheless, if you're a patriot, you get up there and stand alongside the American flag and preach 
patriotism and preach to the honor and servitude of those men, the 4,400 who died on Normandy Beach. Donald Trump missed a great opportunity yesterday, and he was asleep at the switch. And this indicates to me and to everybody else how little he thinks about those who contributed mightily to this country. And so if something is not in his total best interest, he forgets about it. A major mistake on the campaign trail for Donald Trump. So when President Biden and the other world leaders headed to Normandy to mark the 80th anniversary of D-Day, they will also be defending the alliances that guided the Western world to victory in World War II. They overrode the Cold War and the War on Terror, and now they're fighting the bloody invasion of the Ukraine. <laughs> well, what has Trump done for this? Nothing. He has repeatedly threatened to abandon NATO, saying the U.S. bears too much of the burden. And on top of that, he is a lover of Ku and Kim Jong-un of North Korea. Those are Donald Trump's idol. In the end, Donald Trump only worries about one thing, money, money, money. He keeps collecting it from all of those innocent people. But does he think about supporting and attacking international agreements that are not good for the United States? No, he has no interest in that. He's a sorry soul right now. So I'll leave you with that this morning. As I sit here looking at all these pictures of the celebrations that were taking place in Normandy and some of the pictures of the soldiers in the water during the Battle of Normandy. So have a great day. Bye.